Welcome back to a Operator Mastery. Today we got Vigil, who falls under a roaming slash anti-intel type operator and is pretty unique compared to other operators in the game. So I'm excited to get into this one. If you are new to the Operator Mastery series, we go over a new operator every Monday and Thursday. So two a week. So if you are interested in this and like what you see here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you will get two of these a week. So as always, we are going to go over everything from the basic beginner things like what class you should use, my recommended best class setup for Vigil. And then we're going to get into more advanced things like play styles and where you should be playing with Vigil, how you should be playing Vigil, and of course, just make you better at playing the operator. I would hate to waste anyone's time, so let's get right into it. So right about now, I would usually play the operator trailer, but obviously the DLC operators that were later released, they don't have operator videos. All they have is their reveal trailer, and it doesn't really give us a nice view on what they even do but for the early year one operators I like putting that there but since we don't have one let's hop into what Vigil is. So Vigil is the absolute ideal roamer and I think now that Jaeger has been nerfed he might be the best roamer in the game but obviously that is subjective with the K1A as the primary and the anti-intel gadget with the Vigil ability. He is basically a dedicated roamer so let's get into the best class loadout for vigil and this is according to this date obviously buffs and nerfs happen but as of year five season one this is the best loadout for vigil so you have two options at primer you have the k1a and the boss g you're going to probably want to go k1a there but we'll get into that once i name off everything and as secondary weapons you have the smg 12 machine pistol and the c75 auto machine pistol both of them have their strengths and weaknesses uh, then we have the universal gadget you could either do a bulletproof camera or an impact grenade so let's go into my recommended loadout so the primary is one option one option only only you're going to want to go with the k1a if you're trying to do anything competitive the boss g is a double barrel shotgun it has range i'll give you that much and it has an acog so that is good but the uh, fire rate is obviously terrible compared to a k1a which is one of the best guns in the game low recoil uh so k1a is the choice there and you're probably going to want to go with the flash hider angled or vertical grip and then i use holographic sight on all my weapons uh, nowadays but the reason i say angled or vertical you could check out my video on the angled versus vertical but i think that weapons on defense vertical is probably the better choice since you're already ads you know like 90 percent of the time so i think the reward for going with vertical grip and getting that extra recoil boost is definitely worth it for most players but if you're really aggressive and seem to find yourself aiming in before turning a corner then angled grip might be good for you but no matter what i would do holographic as your scope so the smg 12 as a secondary weapon has very high fire rate and that's good and all it has pretty low damage and it also gets a scope but the recoil pattern is the worst in the game honestly and that's why i have to go with the c75 here has better damage as well just a lower fire rate and has pretty terrible iron sights but better than the alternative with the smg 12 and all of them are better than pistols so from a killing perspective uh the c75 is the way to go and finally as your gadget you're gonna want to go with the impact grenade as a vigil player you always want to be able to make rotations and of course rotations in sight if you need to so that's the best choice as you are a roamer a dedicated roamer so now that we have the loadout out of the way, let's get into the utility and then we're getting, gonna get into play styles and how we should be playing Vigil, but we will get there when we get there. We gotta start at the basics and work our way up. So the utility, it's the ERC-7, which is makes him invisible to the attacker's drones, cameras when hacked by Dokubi, and uh, lion scans as well. So those are three things that can really save you on, honestly, uh, and it only lasts a specific amount of time. It sets on a cooldown, the maximum duration is 12 seconds but it can be deactivated whenever and will reactivate all the way up just like any other cooldown type operator in the game so basically if you do anything besides just the normal movements running walking her uh jumping mantling uh anything like that it will get you off of it so shooting mailing that will kick you off of your erc7 and you'll be able to be seen by drone so you cannot shoot while being invisible so vigil in theory is one of the simplest operators to get because all you have to do is press a button and you become invisible by drones but you got to know what it really does it doesn't it makes you invisible but you get this staticky screen on um, on your screen as a attacker if you are trying to drone where a vigil is so you get an idea of where in general they are but you don't get a specific location so it causes them to either wait it out and drone you out once the the time is expired 
tired, or they have to go face check you and play more dangerous and you have the up on them, of course, whenever they're trying to enter a room that you're in and you know kind of where they're coming from a door and they have no idea where you are and have to do the good old face check. But as any gadget, it does have a counter, of course, IQ can see it, Jackal can still scan the footprints and Thatcher can disable it for a certain amount of time. So you should use the ERC-7 whenever you feel like someone is coming for you basically. You don't want to just sit in a room alone and have it activated. There's no reason if you don't hear a drone or any entry point or anything near you whenever you're roaming. Because for the most part for the first quarter of the round whenever you're roaming you're looking at cams and just seeing where they're coming from in general. Listening to the call outs and just seeing in general what side of the map uh, most of them spawned on and where you are expecting them to come in at. So the time to use it is whenever you hear a drone. Either that is a good time when you're expecting to get like pushed or when you're trying to rotate around the map uh, just to make sure no drone is lurking on you so you could just free realm around the map so Vigil is the ideal operator and more of like the rich man's cav. As more higher level players like to use Vigil and lower levels like to use cav in general. And I think that's because in most uh, cases, Vigil denies intel and denies communication while Cav, it's just silence. So that's good, but it downs people and higher ranks, they will communicate better than higher or than lower ranks. So in lower ranks, you can get away with being a Cav and getting tons of interrogations, but in the higher ranks, it just doesn't work as well. You have to be really skilled at that. And Vigil is probably the next man up. But there are two operators that completely fall under the dedicated roamer. That is all you should do with these two operators. And Vigil, of course, is the one we're talking about. Three speed, one armor, all the speed in the world. Uh, no ACOG. He's just meant to be a roamer. So we're not going to get into too much about roaming. If you want to get into how to roam, then go ahead and watch the video. I have a video on how to roam specifically. But just know that Vigil is one of the best roamers. And that is because you can roam freely without drones being able to drone you out. Just by using your sound cues of dronage, you can activate your vigil and just be sure that you won't be seen by the roam clears. But in short, as a roamer, your job is to delay as much time as possible, then get the easy flanks late round. That's just in short. The most specific way I could say is that is the ideal way to play as a roamer. So by having that 12 seconds where they're either going to have to wait to drone you or face check you and you usually win that gunfight, that right there is so huge as a roamer you get 12 seconds which is a big chunk or you get a easy kill or at least a really good gunfight and weaken them up but you should get the kill nine times out of ten as a vigil as long as you're in good positioning there and staying in motion Vigil does the best just like Cav really if you know map knowledge and know rotations and how you should rotate. Once you know where they're entering from it should be pretty simple to flank and if they don't even send a roam clear at you and they just ignore you entirely that creates big flanking potential. Lower ranks rarely roam clear is what I've noticed. So if you're sitting on third story and it's on a first story on whatever map and if you are just chilling up there and they don't roam or they don't roam clear you and don't know that you're up there that is the easiest flanks that you'll ever have and the easiest kills that you'll ever have as long as you just stay you know crouch walking once you get close to them and using your vigil erc7 to deny the drones and pings from seeing you on smaller maps where roaming isn't as big of a thing, think of border. You can do a very shallow roamer. So think of uh, upstairs if you are armory slash locker room. And a big choke point that a lot of people try to push is CCTV. And with the vigil ability, you'll be able to stay in CCTV without being able to be detected. And a room that big like that, you could be literally anywhere and they don't know exactly where you are. So you should be able to get a few entry kills there in any ranked really, in any rank really. And uh, um, they push really hard on CCTV is what I've noticed from casual rank play. So overall guys, roaming with Vigil is probably the best deal that you could do uh, with Vigil. Learn how to roam. This is a great operator to learn as you can just completely avoid drones and it's a very short setup time. All you have to do is reinforce your two walls and head on out. Uh, get hatches maybe sometimes if you're going to play upstairs. That's kind of your goal as a roamer. And he has very good weapons, low recoil weapons to say the least go somewhere usually on a different floor try to waste as much time as possible wait till they're entered into the building 
and then start with the Intel denial process. You're just gonna wanna confuse them, make them really uneasy for people that are trying to roam clear you and the ones that aren't, the teams that are silly enough not to, you flank them and get massive amounts of kills. So guys, hopefully this helped you learn Vigil, master Vigil a little bit. If it did, go ahead and uh, let me know that it did. It would be highly appreciated if you liked the video that shows that you enjoy this and want more. I have a list of about like 15 of these that I'm gonna do in the forthcoming months so we're gonna get two a week hit the subscribe button turn on notifications and with that i'll see you in the next video